Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Challenge Gadget. Yes, this is a new series I'm doing just for this Christmas period. Uh, just use the lack of time that I have to play my normal series. I'm doing something a bit different and I'm accepting challenges for the Soulsborne games. Now I'm still a little bit ill as you can hear from my voice so expect me to maybe cough or snort a little bit. I'll do my best to cut that out. But this is the first of a few challenge runs in Dark Souls. So uh, the challenge this time has been set by Sneaky Johnson. The twat that he is, and the basis is I have an hour to get as far as I can in the game, and the challenge is without any weapons. So I have gone for um, a bandit class, so I've got the highest possible strength and endurance. Because, of course, if I don't have any weapons, I'm not going to be able to do anything, am I? So I'm going to be take. Uh, sorry, it's been whilst I've been these menus, take the sword off. I am allowed to use a shield if I want to, and yeah, let's see how far I can get with this. So, timer starts now. Here we go. Oh, I'm slightly trepidatious about this. Feels good to make a video. I'm going to test on these hollows, see how much damage I actually do on a punch. So, whack, 13 damage, 26. And they don't have particularly good defense, so uh, you never know. I might do alright on this one. So the advantage is, well I've got relatively high strength for a starting class, I've also got relatively high stamina so I can wheel up some combos. It still doesn't make me any more confident for fighting the boss. But hey ho, I have seen a few pe uh, videos of a few people doing Asylum Demon and they seem to manage it alright. In my own head I think I can possibly get Asylum Demon down. I don't think I'll manage Taurus Demon if I even get there. But first and foremost, I need a fucking shield. So I am not even going to bother attempting to fight the Asylum Demon at this point. Oh, look up there, the dirty bastard. Right, yeah, I'm not even going to bother. So get out of here, yeah. Not even bothering. Uh, right. Like that bonfire. So we'll come back around here if, if I die. Spider shield, yep, I want that now. What does that shield actually give me? Okay, 100% physical damage ruin. Great, that's exactly what I want. And let's see if I can take on this hollow with me fists. See, that should be a sword there. A uh, battle axe, rather. You know, at the very least, it would be a weapon. Boom! Backstab with a fist. I did six damage to him. Okay, so physical defenses are different. Yeah, this is possibly going to take a while, especially when it comes to Asylum Demon. I wonder if it's... If I unequip my shield... I do a little bit more damage without the shield. Ooh, the sound of knuckles off walls. What a... No, that would... Our two attack only does two damage as well. Oh, this isn't going to be fun, is it? There we go, but he's down. The reason why I haven't bothered going straight for the uh, boss as well is I need to get Estus Flasks, which you get from... I think it's Oscar. Is it Oscar of Astora? No items up there. Either way, we need the boulder. Yep. Oh. Yeah, we'll just... Regretted. Talk to him. Oh. Now I would. <laughs> okay. And also, if we go up here, we can do the drop down attack thing on the boss. Yeah, this. Hmm. This should be interesting at the very least. Really, I just want him out of my way. Actually, no, because he's going to follow me through there. 
Oh, this is gonna take fucking forever, isn't it? I'm gonna try and parry him. Actually, like, try and... Come on, parry. There we go, we can parry that. That didn't help. Whoa! Yeah, I don't want to get caught by that. Fall damage. Actually, as well, I forgot the gift that I took. Oh, hang on a second, he's going to come back up here. Yeah, because you could, obviously you can pick a gift at the beginning of the game. So, be it the master key, uh, any kind of rings or anything like that. Ooh, he's down. Fantastic. Uh, but the, the one I picked was the tiny being's ring, which I believe regenerates your health. Is that right? Grants a small increase to HP. Ah, oh, okay, so it just gives me more HP. Fuck. Okay. Alright then, fair enough. I don't think I'm going to do too well here. Oh shit, okay. Okay. Alright, well, let's give this a try. My first time ever fighting a boss. Oh, but we can do a drop attack. I did 30. 30 damage. Oh shit, right. Still in the wrong place there. Right, okay. Yeah. So a huge amount of this video is going to be this guy's giant fat ass. Now watch the video of a guy beating the asylum demon with no weapons. Shit. Didn't move fast enough there. Let's just S to stop. Oh fuck. Okay, not good, not good, not good, not good. Get behind him. I can't see! Right, let's get back behind him, get back behind him. Ah, I forgot that the fucking upward attack hovering thing tracks. Okay, yeah, this is really going to take a while. That thing is, I know that if I equip the axe, this would take minutes. Yeah, you just stay in this animation. Look at that ass jiggle. It's time for your colonoscopy. Fucking hell, come on. Big danger is, well, accidentally being caught by that attack, but him getting backed up against the wall, which he is one to do. I'm trying to avoid locking on if I can as well, because it makes staying behind him very difficult. Oh shit! Yeah, that's a danger as well. Let's get out of the way. Let's just... Wow, that was close. Alright, so he'll drop down. We'll try our best to get behind him. 
Well, the more of those columns that he smashes, the better. To be honest. Yeah, if he can keep just wildly swiping and breaking columns, that would be great. Oh, shit. I'm doing better than I thought I would be. Uh, I think this guy's got something like a thousand HP. Oh, nearly swallowed by that ass. And my screen's just gone off. That's not a good thing to happen. As I've said before, when I've played PS3 games, um, I have a dodgy component cable, which occasionally causes the screen to go off. Now, on most games, it's not much of an issue. On this one, it is, because you can't fucking pause it. Right, come on. Oh, Ooh, he's getting a bit pissy, isn't he? Uh. Right, get the way, out the way, out the way. I need to pull him away from that wall. Come on, laddie. Ooh. I almost mistimed that. Right, come on, round the corner, round the corner, round the corner. Now right, you're gonna fly. Your little vestigial wings. Horrible bastard. Oh shit! That's what I get for calling you a horrible bastard, isn't it? I don't care if Francis is offline. I'm more concerned with not dying. <sighs> Don't you twerk me into a corner, damn you. Right. Okay, okay. Oh, shit. I need to heal. Nah, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. What the fuck is going on with the camera? Nah, fuck. Oh, I think I might have fucked this up. Nah, oh shit. I'm not dead yet. Give me composure back. Get back to beating this guy in the backside. This really isn't good. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. So out of practice for Dark Souls to be playing this. Okay, around here. Ah, the problem is when he loses track of you for so long, he starts to do the hover. Nice. Okay, okay, and he'll hover, and I stay around here. He comes down in front of me, and I get behind. Oh, don't get lucky in the loop of hovering. Oh, how the hell did I end up in front of him?
Ugh. I'll be amazed if I pull this shit off. Now, there we go. Right, okay. How long has that taken me so far? Ah, oh, it's taken me 15 minutes so far to get to that point. Shit. Obviously, I'm not going to show you this full hour. We'll cut out a lot of the runbacks. So, yeah. Right, so when he does each attack to the side, he turns around a quarter. We'll punish that one. Ah, shit, no, not fast enough. Right, John Estes. If he's far too much Estes for this point in the fight. Ah, fuck! Bloody pots. Even the fucking room's against me. Behind him. Just well, I like the Asylum Demon's music, isn't it? I feel like I'm going to be hearing a lot of it. I will kill you, you fat ass twat. I spent this long of this fucking video looking up your ugly anus. I'm going to kill you. Right. Oh man, I wish I could level up. I would totally spend like four hours just grinding the hollows in this area. Just to put more strength in. Fuck! Oh, I thought I moved fast enough for that. Nah, I'm dead. Alright, cut back to the run back. Well, at least I'm being a pain in his ass. That's what I guess to be a pain in mine. Well, that was an unexpected attack from there. You usually only ever does that one when, I'm, when I've been in front of him. However, I'm happy enough for him to do that because that gives me a great opportunity to attack him. Without risk of being caught by a sideswipe. Fuck off, man. Shit, shit, shit. Bad spot! Fucking hell. And we're back at his ass again. The problem also with being up his ass up against the wall is that it's really hard to gauge which move he's gonna do. Oh shit, that caught me! What an unfair hitbox that has. Right. Okay, let's just keep this on the level. Nah, I knew he was going to catch me with that one. Ah, shit, shit, shit. I'm so dead here. Oh. Right, last Estus. That's all the health I've got. I have no idea how people do these challenge runs on a regular basis. I've seen people do, like, full game runs without using any weapons. I have just no idea how you do it. And some of the bosses, it must take fucking forever. Your damage per second is this low. Proof of ever that Souls players are fucking masochists. Ah, shit, I knew he catches with that. 
fuck's sake, man! Ugh. It's just inescapable. Nah. Fucked it up. I thought I could get in those couple of hits and have enough time to get out, and I didn't. Oh, so close to it. I'm getting better each time, though. How long have I been at this? Christ, I've been at this for 38 minutes. Oh, why did I agree to a no weapons fucking run? You see, if I had, if I had my axe, I would be able to tear this guy up. In fact, what I might do is, when I eventually beat him, I might st start a quick new character and show you how quickly I can do it with weapons. Same class, same everything, so using that bandit axe. There you're going down. Yeah, I might do that actually. Just to prove a point. There's your backside. Uh, let's... Sorry again if I go quick. Ah, oh, shit, I've caught his tail. I didn't even know that could happen. I didn't even realize he could get caught on his tail. That's news to me. Uh. Right, full health. No Estus. He's on what? About a quarter? Where are you moving now? Are you going that way? I'll fuck him in front. Fly. Oh, thank God he flew there. I thought if he done a sideswipe, I would have been caught by it. Come on. Oh, thought he was going to catch me there. That was a close one. Oh, it's so hard to predict which way he's going to go when you're this close to his ass. Must be in his last 100 HP by now. Come on, just keep the rhythm. Right. Getting caught on his tail. Oh. Yes! <laughs> I did it! I don't believe it, I did it! I beat the asylum demon in under an hour with five minutes to spare with no weapons. I can't actually believe I've done that.
Hang on, I need, I need to take a drink here. Holy shit. That was so intense. And so ridiculous. And so obscene, and oh my god. I'm like sweating from every pore. Oh, okay, so let's head down to Lordran. Fucking hell. Can't believe I managed it. Absolutely can't believe I managed it. Soul of a Lost Undead. I can't believe you only get 2,000 souls for killing him. I think there's, a, there's not another item there, is there? No. Right, okay. Let's all head over to Lordran. Oh man, that was... Only that was just wow. Legends, it is that one day an oh, fucking hell. Yeah, skip that cutscene. Whew. Oh man, I want to I want to yell and scream from the rooftops. All right, it's filing shrine. As many strength as possible. Right, okay, so I'm with this character, I'm going to leave this here. But as I said before, I just want to do a test and just to prove how long it would take me to do it with a weapon. So, you'll join me back there with a new character. Okay, so we're back just at the fog here. As you can see, I have the same character, same setup. Um, this is Gadget 2, but this time we're using the axe. I've also removed the hood like I had in the last character. And let's just see how long this takes. Significantly less. Yeah, come on, what? If that was even 30 seconds, I'll eat me hat. So you see? Ridiculous. Anyway, so I'm going to leave this here. So thank you for watching so much. Um, I am going to do another challenge video for Thursday. So if you have a challenge for me in any of the Souls games, I have all of them, and in Bloodborne included, please do let me know in the comments below and I'll try and do it. And I'm going to be doing another three of these leading up to Christmas. So uh, thank you for watching. Please do leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and come back next time for more from my Challenge Gadget series. For now, thank you for watching, and good night.